Hi guys, Adrian from MIA. Today we're gonna to be going over our Pioneer Large. This is a two to three person soft shell tent. And we'll be going over the whole assembly and the setup. If you wanna determine which side is the bottom, you'll notice one full connected piece of the cardboard and then one loose piece at the bottom. Um, they'll all be strapped down so this should all be together. Um, to determine the bottom, you're gonna make sure that this loose piece right here is facing the ground where you're gonna lean the tent. So for today's purposes and opening up the box, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the ground and then we'll lift it on our sawhorses and show you some of the assembly. Um, if for some reason you don't have sawhorses, you can go straight from the ground onto your vehicle. All right, let's get started. You'll notice these rails. We went ahead and pre-installed these for you guys so you will not need to worry about that. So now's a good time to get an extra hand. Uh, we're gonna tilt the tent up we're gonna put it on top of the sawhorses over here. Again, if you don't have the sawhorses, you can lay a blanket on the ground and go ahead and lay the tent on the ground. Okay, now that your tent is out of the box, you either have it on the floor with a blanket or today we've uh, propped it up on some sawhorses. We're gonna wanna determine where the location is to mount your ladder. To do this, you'll notice two pre-drilled holes on the left and the right side. This is gonna determine where your tent opens on your vehicle. The nice thing about this tent is it can be mounted on either side. Today we're gonna mount it on the passenger side of the vehicle. To begin mounting the ladder, Go ahead and open up all the straps on your tents and it's gonna allow you to access the parts that are stored inside. Right, now that all the straps have uh, been opened up, we're gonna go ahead and open the shell. This is gonna allow us to get the contents inside of the tent to start assembling it. Uh, we recommend having someone help you. So today, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Undo your zippers. You can lift up your mattress. You'll notice the contents inside. First thing that we'll grab is the ladder. Inside the ladder, you'll also notice the hardware. We'll go ahead and set this down on the floor. You're gonna have your stakes. You'll also be receiving the cover that we'll install separately. And the two provided shoe bags. Okay, go ahead. All right, next step is go ahead and open your hardware bag. In this bag, you'll notice the stakes, rope, mounting hardware. There's gonna be four of these. You'll have eight of these. And then your ladder mounts will be two of these. And then within your ladder mounts, you're gonna need the bolts that will attach to the tent itself. There's gonna be four of these, two per each mount. Two wrenches. You'll also have your plugs. It'll plug to each end of the rail. There'll be four total. So we'll go ahead and grab our ladder mounts. Today, we've inserted the appropriate bolts with the washers located on the top. So we'll go ahead and push those through.
Again, the triangle is gonna be facing away from you with the flat part towards the end of the tent. All right, now we're ready to insert a washer and a lock nut on the inside. You're first gonna take your washer, insert it onto the bolt, and then you're gonna take your lock nut, go ahead and push down on the washer. This will hold it tight. And thread this on just so it's set. Don't worry about it being tight. We will repeat this on the left side. To tighten these, you're gonna take the provided wrenches. You'll notice two different numbers on one of the wrench. You're gonna have a 10 and a 13. Today, we're gonna to use the 10 along with the 10 on the opposite one. This is gonna be used for doing the ladder mount. So we're gonna do one on top and one on bottom. So go ahead and set these and begin tightening them. Next, we're gonna install our ladder. When you position your ladder on your tent, Make sure that these guards are facing down. They're gonna sit on the bottom of your floor. So to do this, go ahead and lay it parallel with the floor. We're gonna set it right next to your mount. Make sure that the two mounting points on your ladder are on the inside of these mounts. It's okay if there's a little bit of a gap because once we put these bolts on, it'll actually compress them together and give it a nice snug fix. Next. We're gonna go ahead and take our pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove one washer and the rubber grommet. So you'll be left with one washer on the outside. Go ahead and insert this on the outside. We're gonna take our rubber, put that on the inside. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take the washer and put it on the inside of the mount. Then you're gonna take your washer, go ahead and slip that in, your lock nut, Tighten that. Right now we're gonna do this hand tight. We'll come back with our tools and give it a nice tighten. Next, we're we'll gonna repeat that same step on the left side. super tight. You just want to make sure that there's no movement when you rattle it back and forth. To test this, go ahead and grab your ladder. You go ahead and swivel it up and down, making sure that it has a nice swift motion. Now you're all set with the assembly of your ladder. We're going to move on to the next step. Now that we've secured the ladder to the tent, all of our bolts are tight. We're going to go ahead and make sure that our strap is nice and tight. Pull up on your strap, making sure that there's no kinks. Bring it over your ladder. You're gonna grab the opposite side strap. You're gonna bring this through both loops. Go ahead and pull away from you and then over. As you pull over, go ahead and open up both loops. Cinch this over the top one and through the bottom. Pull this away. Grab both loops. Pull to the right as you pull to the left on this strap. Making sure it's tight. Give it a double check over the ladder. Now we're good to go. Now that we're all set with the ladder cinched down, we're gonna to begin to install the cover. Before we do this, we're gonna install the left and the right strap. <music> Lastly, we can go ahead and take any fabric, kind of just tuck it in with our hands. This doesn't need to be perfect, but this will help when installing the cover. We're gonna install our travel cover. Best way to do this, go ahead and open it all the way up. Once you open it up, you're gonna be looking for the part that is gonna slide into the tent slot. Best way to do this is 
open it fully into a square. And you will notice a long portion of your tent that has a wire running through it. And this is this right here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the Velcro. So now uh, get it on. And to do this, go ahead and make sure that now that this long cord is at the front of your tent. We're going to start with the left side right here. And we're going to insert it into the bottom railing of your tent. Start here. Go ahead and slip this in. You don't want to feed it. Go nice and slowly. Even, you're ready to begin to put the travel cover over the tent. Right now that your travel cover has been inserted in the slot on the back, you can begin to put it over your tent. Next step is we're going to need to locate the main zipper. This is going to be anywhere on your tent. Easiest way to do this is look for the little rope dangling. Go ahead and lift up right here. And we're gonna drag this all the way to the left side until it's connected to the main connection. Now we're ready to zip the covers both together. All right, once they're lined up, making sure that this one is always touching the back of this one. So again, if it's in the front, go ahead and just bring it back. You can hold them both together. You're gonna connect both metal pieces just like a standard zipper. So go ahead and insert both of them. Tuck any fabric up. Just give it a little bit of a push forward. Now we're ready to begin zipping our tent. The best way to do this without anything getting caught is use one hand in the front. This will reduce the chance of anything getting caught. And as you go, just go with your hand and you can begin to zipping up your cover. And now we're gonna go all the way around the tent. and run it all the way closed. And then once you've gotten to the very end, go ahead and take your Velcro right here and you're gonna strap that all the way around, making sure that it's nice and tight. We'll do that to both sides. All right, once your travel cover's been installed, you can go ahead and grab the corners and pull down. This will bring your fabric all the way down to the corners. Right now you're ready to strap your cover closed. Go ahead and grab your two main straps. Make sure there's no kinks in there. And go ahead and lay them flat on the tent. We'll go ahead and do this left and right side. The best way when you guide these is make sure it's on each side of the ladder. You'll then take your Velcro strap. Go ahead and insert it through both loops then pull it towards you, and then you're gonna open up the loop over the top one and through the bottom, and this will allow you to cinch it down. Go ahead and give it a nice pull so everything's nice and tight. Go ahead and double check your straps, making sure that they're moderately tight. This is gonna hold down the cover. Now you're ready to install the tent onto your vehicle. You're gonna to wanna to determine on which side of the vehicle your tent is gonna open on. The nice thing about our Pioneer series is they can be switched to open on the driver side or the passenger side. Today we're going to install it on the passenger side of the vehicle. So when you make note of this, just make sure that the mounts we installed for the ladder are on the opposite side of where you want to mount it. So today we're going to want to open the tent over on the passenger side. So we're going to make sure that the mounting brackets for the ladder are on the opposite side on the left side. All right, now we're going to lift it up on the car and begin installing.
that your tent has been placed on top of your vehicle, you want to make sure that you measured your racks correctly. Um, this tent totals in a 57 inch length. So what we like to do is divide that in half. So we'll go with the nearest number is 60. So we want to make sure that our racks are about 30 inches apart. Today, we're right there on the dot. So once we double check those, we can start inserting the hardware on the front and the back side. There's gonna be four total. So we'll start first with the back and then we'll move to the front. Uh, one of the most important things when installing these T-nuts into the tracks of your tent, you wanna make sure that the bolt is seated flush into the track. The reason we say this is when it's flush, it will not turn. But if we put these up and we're not paying attention and it's up here, as we go to tighten our lock nut, the bolt will spin freely. So just make sure that when you put this in, it's seated inside the track. And we can also double check this through the back channels of the tent. step we're going to insert our bottom plate to do so you'll notice you have one hole along with the slot we always like to start with the hole that doesn't allow us to move it so today we'll go ahead and insert this on the front bolt next we'll go ahead and adjust the back bolt to line up in that slot go ahead and put both of those on you're going to take your washer insert it all the way up don't worry about one side falling out we can always come back we're gonna take one of our lock nuts and go ahead and hand tighten this on. Okay. All right, once that's hand tight, we'll go ahead and do the back. Again, if you need to adjust it forward or back to line up with that back slot, now's the time. You wanna make sure that both bolts are straight and they are not at an angle. If they're at an angle, go ahead and readjust. We'll go ahead and insert our washer along with our lock nut. And again, we just want this hand tight. And once it's hand tight, we can go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, now that all your brackets are set, you're gonna begin tightening it. You've been provided two wrenches. This time we're gonna be using number 13. So if somebody wants to take the opposite side of you, you can begin tightening. Today we're gonna to start with the front brackets. The best way to start doing this is actually put your hand onto the bracket, pushing down. This is gonna give tension, making sure that that bolt head is stuck inside of that slot. So we'll go ahead and put a little pressure with our left hand, take our right hand with the number 13, and begin tightening the bolts. You could also use a 13 millimeter socket if you have one at home and if you also have room underneath. You can see now that we've mounted the tent, one thing you will notice is the bar is nearly level. It is okay if it is cuffed a little bit, but we do not want to over tighten these as it'll put pressure on the floor of your tent. Um, you can double check these regularly if they need to be tightened. Um, last thing we're going to do is we're going to insert the plastic inserts on the end of your rails. This will reduce any wind noise. So you're going to insert them in the end of the bottom rails. And go ahead and line these up. And once you get them aligned, go ahead and push in. Your tent is now set up and ready to be used.